Hello folks, just a quick video. I went out earlier with doggies, we've done another video, so that one will be sorted out later. So, yeah. Anyway, this one is about the fact that uh, this um, driving incident on the 2nd of December. I just got the paperwork through as to whether I plead guilty or not guilty. It's going to be not guilty. Well, because it was completely freak accident, complete incident, you know, freak situation. So therefore, okay, I didn't see the person before, during or afterwards. So therefore, did I know what happened? Well, not until 30 minutes after. And yeah. So therefore driving away, okay, it looks dodgy now. Now we understand what happened. Now it looks dodgy, but at that moment, now that's the point at that moment, you don't know what happened. You're on a road where it's very difficult for cars behind you to go past. So you just want to get out their way as well. And nobody is signaling you to say that something happened. You can't see that anything happened. All you can see is that your wind mirror is knackered. It's hanging down. So you hit something. But, yeah, because there was water in your eyes at the time, you couldn't see anyone there. You know you went up onto the curb, but you know there could be a sign there. There's that post there. So, therefore, what did you hit? Well, you don't know. But as there's nobody running around panicking because someone was hit, you don't think someone was hit. And you certainly didn't hit a car. So if you didn't hit a car and no one's running around panicking, then you think you didn't hit someone. So therefore, what are you going to do? You get out of the way. You have a car. Because if you're not a lawyer, then the law is not in your mind at that time. What's in your mind is, oh, bloody hell, I've got to replace the mirror now and that's going to be a problem. Uh, especially with the person I use because he takes absolutely months to do anything well he keeps on booking other jobs you know he says oh come around next week you come in next week oh oh sorry come around next week and you come in next week oh so sorry, sorry come around next week and then yeah he was supposed to be repainting the rear of my car that i booked him in to paint and we are a year on from that a year on from that yeah from what well, from when he said he would repaint it and for me to first come in yeah. So you know when you've got that person doing your car? Oh, for fuck. Yeah. And, yeah. Not good. And also money-wise. Yeah, when you're looking at bankruptcy, you know, then obviously you've got no money spare to spend. And you've got to replace the mirror. Uh crap. And the person was supposed to do with that, he said he's going to swap the front doors because he has another car, an 07 Civic, that he could use. And then, basically, he bought that car from someone else, but it cost more money than he thought. I told him it's going to cost more money. Um, spares and repair issue with that car because that car was absolutely knackered. It couldn't be dro drove him. Because it had a big issue, massive issue, that would cost more than the, the car was worth. So, yeah. And then basically, I was going, I phoned him saying, okay, What's going to happen? And I went there to see him, and he said, Oh, sorry, we can't swap the doors now because I've sold the car to someone else. They only want the engine, but I sold all the car to that person. And I was thinking, excuse me, if you waited for a few days, you could have had more money from me for doing that and the same money from the other person. Uh, so now, basically, he's taken the parts out that we need in the mirror and a part to fix the window in the other door. Yeah, and that could take more time because, obviously... He doesn't even know what's wrong with it with the mirror because he's not actually looked at it yet. So the, the bit he took out for the other car can be maybe it's not the right bit. 
<sighs> so therefore, yeah. So obviously, on the second of December, December, um, yeah. All that sort of crap was in my mind at that time when I saw the window, because I know that person, and yeah. So therefore, if there is a case and a trial, then really it's about how a uh, normal human will react. Yeah. Rather than a lawyer, because the problem is the lawyers will say, oh, you should react this way because the law says that. Well, you know that because you're a lawyer. Other people don't know that because, yeah, it's, it's not in their, in their minds. Because with lawyers, obviously the law is, is in their mind all the time. But the rest of us, it could be about relationships, um, yeah, about your wife, your children, your job, your money issues. Yeah. And so therefore, how you react could be completely different to someone else. Because what's in your mind, what's in their mind, is completely different. So there you go. It is what it is. I was annoyed about that first of all, because I thought, oh, for goodness sake, therefore that means that obviously God's not going to do the stuff that um, you know, I was hoping for. You know, moving to a better place, that's not going to happen, because obviously the court has this address where I'm right now. And... You know, everything else will be stopped. And I thought, no, because God knew this would happen. So don't worry. <laughs> don't worry about that sort of stuff. Yeah. Don't be annoyed about that because obviously, yeah. Well, the problem is, again, I thought God was saying, was saying to me, there won't be a case. Yeah. Because it was a freak accident. So therefore, they know that. They will know that. And therefore, they can't prove that you were driving wrong. Because, you know, what happened, how could you know what to do? But obviously now, mm, indeed. Indeed. It is very, very much what it is, isn't it, really? So we'll see what happens. I say, believing that God says there won't be a case and getting the paperwork through suggests there will be a case and it suggests that I've heard wrong because obviously God isn't wrong. So therefore, if I've heard wrong and believing that's God, again, we get into that situation as I was with the case with the Collies, me hearing wrong and God not correcting me upon what I've heard. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That can bring back a lot of frustrations from the past. Especially as the lawyers for legal aid is the same people. Although I found, I basically phoned them today and Mr. Tom is not there right now. He's gone from that, from that um, company. So that's good. That's good. He's gone. So therefore I want to have him as a lawyer good good <laughs> so, yeah I will speak to the lawyer that they want me to speak to and if that person says no say guilty I'll just say okay don't worry bye bye I won't use that person because yeah I want someone who knows yeah I wasn't guilty because yeah what happened was a freak thing so so there you go. I'll leave you now. You take care. I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye.